What's going on guys, it's me Shikashu, we're back with another Uma Musume video. This video we will continue getting ready for the League of Heroes, and we are here with Satono Diamond. I'm thinking of bringing Top Road, of course, but she is new, I also want to, you know, bring her along. Think about Satono Diamond, and then Taishin, or what's her name, Akita Sun Black, I don't know why I blanked out. But, it would all just come down to... Three out of the four, obviously. So we're gonna be training four characters this time, and same setup. Pretty much is the same setup as the Satono Diamond that I used in the League of Heroes, not the League of Heroes, the CM from a while ago for the long distance one. I believe it was three CMs ago because we just finished one. Uh, pretty much the same setup, except we have Sataki Mei instead of the Goddess Group card, and then I'm not using a friend Super Creek. I'm just using my own Super Creek. And there we go. Now, I have been playing Project Lark over the weekend. Just trying to get used to it myself. Um, without any looking at the comments. Uh, normally, I don't even look at the comments until literally when I'm about to read them in the video. Or like minutes while I'm getting ready for the video. Uh, but before I go over the comments want to go like a quick summary of what i've been doing so basically whenever the double s shows up or the double s match shows up i would just go for it and do it and then and one of well and a couple of my runs i finally started winning the races i was losing which was not that much honestly um i finally won i think both races that i lost in the top road run i think i lost both races i'm not even sure and yeah i mean i think i pretty much understand the concept of the training scenario i just don't know i just don't know how to do like picking out which stat I should do at the right I don't know I feel like we get a such a good amount of stats like right now I'd probably oh, I should I should rest I normally pick the ones with the most umas to bring up the bar <laughs> only so I could force another double s or triple s match like right now I would pick this one obviously and also i think i got used to the debuffs i think i don't normally just buy or exchange the points for level threes or i save i save like around at least in the 400s during the i would say summer break but when they travel overseas so I can have enough to at least level to everything by then. And then, yeah, I mean, I don't start level 3 until like later, later. That's pretty much what I've been doing. I don't really have an issue with anything else. It's just a matter of... I haven't gotten any stat over 1300. That's the only issue I've been having. So yeah, <laughs> that is pretty much it. I don't know if, I don't know really, but it's just what I've been doing. So anyways, let's go over to comments since uh, I do notice that comments have been posting. I just don't, I just don't look at them because I didn't want to, I wanted to learn some stuff on my own for a bit maybe just to pretty much to get a feel for the training scenario myself because obviously on friday that was just my first time oh and also i've been buying more skills throughout the training rather than keeping all my points because <laughs> i went and looked at the stats of the other umas and their stats are crazy so i feel like 
stats are necessary to help us win because a lot i a lot of the races i just had to re reset because i couldn't win them i would be in the lead and somehow lose in the end and all that so yeah that happened a lot but other than that it's all good i think i got the gist of the training scenario itself so it's just a matter of fine-tuning what I know and just trying to just trying to get a better like I don't know just trying to get my stats to where I want it to be because they do give a good amount of stats it's just I'm not getting it where I want it to be I don't know if you guys can understand what I'm trying to say but Enough of that, let's start going over to comments, because from what I see, these comments are quite long. I did ask for advice, so it's quite understandable. So we're gonna go over them. We're, gonna, we're just gonna go over them. So first two comments is from Echo. Oh, uh, after I pick option here. The first comment. About us i've made they are bad they have over 1600 speed and a lot of cheap skills what do i want here honestly i would like to increase the bond with sataki Mei, but um i can't make anything useful for pro cms that's why if i'm not sure that i can win b finals or even get there i'm not doing it only A plus CMs for now. At least for now. Uh, I guess I, I did mention. I did remember talking about that. Then and I. About trying to go for the pro CMs. I mean. It's still worth a shot. Because you don't know if you're not going to make it to. Group B at least. Without even trying. So I think maybe at least giving it one shot. To at least see where you're at. You know wouldn't be a bad idea you would at least be able to see what you can do we failed a training i already don't like this <laughs> but yeah i mean like i said it's all it's all on you i feel like i forgot to press that but yeah like i said it's up to you if you don't feel comfortable doing it just yet just just don't do it uh, triple S is a very rare thing. It happens two or three times during the training, so you can do double S training as soon as you can. When you get your first points, buy two first options or at least the second one. Well, normally, I wait. Well, normally, what I do, or sometimes, I would just, you know, do all this. I usually pick the speed and stamina option first. I don't know why. I know the first two options would probably pretty much work better, but um, I do need to rest. Just rest. What was I gonna say? I know the first two options are the important ones. Please tell me I have one more day. If not, I probably just messed it up because I still have the debuff. All right, cool. Um, but yeah, usually I wait until like right before the race to do it. And I'll just buy all four just to have them all at level two already. And then I won't touch anything until the next two comes up, bring them up to level two. And so, you know, rinse and repeat. As long as I have enough. Uh, I'm also going to look at some skills as well. That's pretty much a good. For now, at least. But let me continue on with the comment. Otherwise, you'll lose every race. You'll have G in medium distance. 
You don't need to run any races, you get fans by events. Just keep training, it's easy. It takes less time than any other training because it's pretty straightforward. But you need a lot of stats to win races. Yeah, I realize that the stats are really just the most important thing of the training scenario. And that there really is no need to run any more extra races from what I've experienced over the weekend. But you're right, it is pretty straightforward. So yeah, I haven't been doing any extra races whatsoever. And then second comment, you need a lot of skills to win the last race. I agree. <laughs> I totally agree. Because after the first time, I was like, you know what? Let me try buying skills and all that because I feel like I need to at this point. And it seemed to work when I finally won it. It did take me a few like resets, but you know, it still worked. But thank you for the comment, Echo, and for the tips. Next comments from Eugen. I want to share my two cents regarding going to higher level. Defeat makes you improve later on. As for me, based on my previous CM experiences, I have a lot of defeat and most were be grouped in the finals. Pretty relatable to that, actually. A lot of the times, even if I went to group B finals, I would probably get like second place most of the time. So I'm pretty relatable with that. I have a feeling this is because I was um, talking about um, Bot Echo to try out the higher level. Which I still think wouldn't be a bad thing. But yeah, around this year I got my lucky break and managed to get my first Platinum. Also, I think being in a Group B Grade League rewards is almost the same as Final A for open league i think they are the same as well not too sure but i feel like they are oh that's the wrong button uh Picking on a selection one is similar to Oharu with designated skills, but I always tend to select May because it's a green gold skill that activates on the new racetrack. I think I picked the yellow one as I did um, not just a while ago. Ooh, should I? Just do that. The extra race that you only need to do is if you like fans required to run for the Japan Derby that requires at least 6,000 fans. Japan Derby? Oh, is it when... I, it's pretty coming up, huh? I try to get rid of the purple title because it's the debuff on the race that reduces your stats greatly, so I make it all level 2. Actually, now that I think about it, now you mentioned lack of fans. I think... Oh, I'm good. <laughs> I swear I saw it was like 500 left, but I didn't need it to get, but it looks like it's all good now. Please work with the 7%. It's sad that my twin turbo won't be able to get the great escape because it's a hidden event reward when you win in Tanabata show, which won't be able to get the great escape because it's a hidden event reward when you win. Final leg background music of the final race. If you listen to music, it's a heartbeat that makes it suspense, especially in the last spurt. I don't wish I had Satsuki Mi ready already, but I don't. So that's kind of kind of worrying. I'm gonna just force it. Although my speed is kind of low. That's kind of worrying me as well. Um, I guess I'll go over the replies in this comment. <laughs> So Darren Endless' response was, I'm not approved. This is sure a great escape and get got by win a Japan Cup. I think all great escape characters can get skill on the same condition. Then Yujin says, someone told me as well by winning Japan Cup. I keep thinking that Japan Derby is the Japan Cup, so I wonder why I can't get it. But after winning the Japan Cup and Takura Zakinen, I acquired the Great Escape skill, so it would be the Japan Cup. Ah. 
So if you want to get the great escape skill, you win the Japan Cup and the Takarazakinen. Got it. Let me like all your comments and heart it. Then, thank you for the comment, Eugen, and also Darren Endless for the adding the reply and all that. Uh, did I race already? I did. So I feel like I should rest because we have some training to do. Moving on to the next comment from Nova. I have to say that I'm trying to be the Mejuro Master, but I don't know how long I will need to wait. Oh, well. I think I am missing Mejuro Arden and... Mejuro... Mejuro. Forgot who I'm missing. Um. The other one. Let me check. I am missing Mejuro Bright. I almost covered light. That's why I didn't want to say it. I believe I have Palmer. I don't have the Valentine's or the Ballroom Ryan and Arden. And I think that's pretty much it. I think I didn't pull on Metro Bright or the Valentine's and Ballroom ones, though, so that's all on me. As for the progress on the support card, I got two copies of 90 pulls for Elchan and I upgraded her one more level with a Rainbow Shard. Nice. Do I need to buy anything here? I guess I'll work on this for now. So I just need one more copy and one from Pity, most likely to max LB her. So far, having her and Kita Speed have been a godsend. Yeah, the Elkander's Speed card seems really, really good. I really do want to get it, but I don't want to pull just yet. I haven't really had luck in the three pulls, which makes sense since they, I have already gotten two pulls out of it. So I'm not surprised they're not giving me any pulls. So it is what it is. We'll see what happens after. Maybe they'll give me a pull or two or so later on. As for the training more itself, I think it's more fun to discover some of these things yourselves first. I never watched any guy before I started training, and I think I learned something new every run. I agree. That's the reason why I pretty much avoided the comments uh, over the... Well, I don't... Normally, why I don't read the comments until the video is being recorded. Uh, just so I can just do stuff on my own and try to learn it. That's pretty much what I did over the weekend. So, it's all good here. It's all good here. Um, and I managed to learn quite a bit from just playing. I mean, I pretty much got a good feeling on how I wanted to do this. It's just the only thing, like I said earlier, I just don't know, like, how to manage my stats and all that. Like, really, really get, like, my stats up there, you know? Because... All the top roads that I trained over the weekend, pretty much just had over 1200 and didn't even make it to 1300 when it came to speed or stamina. So it is what it is. Being able to read the debuffs is essentially time saving and you do need to pay attention to your points as to when to use them. Yes, I agree because when I, <laughs> when I didn't have enough points for, to get rid of the debuffs, obviously I lost the race because of that. And yeah, that's the reason why I just been holding off on level three some some of these things. And just waiting till at least this point so I can level two have all of these to level two and have um all the debuffs cleared up pretty much. Um uh, I'm still trying to figure out how to balance my stats and what to do during the overseas travel. That is currently where I am right now. <laughs> But, oh, can I get another one? Seems like, well, 
We're just gonna have to go for it, I guess. Um, we do overseas travel months since those can be essential as to when you want to choose to upgrade a skill or not. This scenario for me at least is very relatable. Second place, ooh. I think my speed's too low. Uh, the Umas have these debuffs mostly from culture shock racing in another country. I can relate to those culture shock also for me when I first came to the US 10 years ago. Oh! Trust me, you have more debuffs than these Umas had and some long-term culture shock still persists today. For example, I still read Celsius over Fahrenheit to this day. <laughs> If you don't mind me asking, where are you originally from? Kind of curious now that you mentioned that. I don't think I'm going to win this race. <laughs> I think I've only won this race two times. Two times. Out of all my attempts over the weekend. Oh my gosh. This is going to suck, but thank you for the comment, Nova. If you don't mind, of course, just let me, let me know down in the comments. I feel like it was my speed. I, I only won this like two, maybe three times at most. So I'm not surprised that I lost. I'm still trying to figure out what to do here, essentially. But thank you for the comment again, Nova. And we do have one more comment from Darren Endless. Might I add a long one since it's been a while since i seen a long comment from you as well um hey bro i come with tips for you <laughs> thank you thank you one this mode events are reach for to the best world uma musume just like fifa world cup japan horse can't win this trophy in history this is highest wall of world for climbing it uh <laughs> Race two races and training are splitting to two situations, Japan and overseas. Yes, that is, I did get that. <laughs> Three, when you, when you are on Japan, don't worry about anything. Play as you normally play. Got it. Which I have been doing. Went overboard to four, went overboard to Paris. They can get extra bonus from buffs and remove debuffs. Five upper perks are remove debuff for your... Uma Musume and help you overseas training get bonus. Three middle perks are to help you get bonus training anywhere. Wait. I think I pretty much figured this out, but the five upper perks can help you wait. Remove debuffs from your Uma Musume and help you help your overseas training. The three middle perks help you get bonus training anywhere and last two perks are help you run well on the pre de la art trophy okay five when you when you're, you're overboard to paris this is time to prepare for the race remove all debuffs to level two i did do that four days for training and next one race and unlock two perks make sure your points are enough 400 points and the first pre de la to triumph for Coming up. I'd lost that right now. <laughs> I literally just lost that. Uh, let me actually bring this up to level three. If I can. We'll just do this because I think I'm running out of time for that. Um, six in this race, side games cooking up players for her to feel bad and that pressure from the wall of the world. We can't unlock the last debuff 8 out of 9, and our Uma Musume stat are greatly reduced. This is forced to upgrade Uma Musume skill to survive. 7. When you win this race, Arc the Triumph buff on final perk are unlocked. Huge bonus stat when win. When win. And special opponents show up. Oh yeah, the third one. And then 8. Forget about Happy Meek, Little Kokon, Bitter Glass, and... Three goddess Venus Park, Rigatona, and Mont Montju are monsters. Check. I did check their skills and stats before the race. That's the reason why I figured that I should get some more skills. It's rewind. It reminds me to remember about Sakura Laurel facing against Naito Brian. That makes me sick. Make sure your Uma are ready to race and good luck. Thank you. 
Yeah, when I decided to look at their stats because I was curious, I was like, holy crap, their stats are really good. <laughs> Maybe I should buy, buy some skills and all that. Uh, as you guys have probably noticed, I'm not consistent with uh i guess the overseas training aspect yet as i still can't win the race uh automatically i still trying to figure out what i can do because sometimes my stats are pretty much a reason why it's doesn't make uh, i don't win the race so it is what it is uh but playing a lot of Doing all those runs over the weekend has helped a lot and me just pretty much trying to get a feel for the training scenario itself and i can positively positively say that it's it's work it's just it's not consistent yet i haven't like consistently just won all the races just yet so that is pretty much the only issue i've been having other than that the training scenario is actually fairly easy and it does go on fairly fast because it, it is a little bit shorter, if I'm not mistaken. But yeah, other than that, I kind of like the training scenario because it's different. It's actually making me kind of think how, how I should be picking the stats, what stats I should be picking at the time. Because as the guy saw, my speed wasn't even at a B at that point of the training, which Sometimes even during Grandmasters at that point, it wasn't even that high as well. So it's quite understandable. But it is what it is. How are my stats right now, actually? Yeah. Even my stats right now aren't too good. Although speed is the highest now, after probably the reason why I lost. I believe I unlocked this if I beat it the first time. If I remember correctly. I'll just buy two more. And I'm trying to figure out when's the perfect time to like start level 3 them. Because I feel like I'm doing it a little bit too late. And then at the same time, I do have to, I do want to complete all the date events with Sataki Mei, but I haven't quite done it too consistently. Sometimes I would miss like two or one by the end. So that's another thing I'm trying to figure out. The only thing I really do like is how easy it is to get stats a little bit higher than you want it to be. Well, not really how you want it to be. The higher the better, obviously. Uh, I guess what I was trying to say is it's just easy to raise the stats because of the double S. Was it double S matches and a triple S matches? So, yeah. This run is kind of, as we still train for the, or as I train for the League of Heroes, I am still pretty much still trying to get more use to the training scenario. So hopefully as we get closer and closer to the League of Heroes, I'm honestly not expecting to like get the greatest. But if I can at least consistently get to where I want to be at one point, that will be great. As in my stats. But we'll see how that would work later on down the road. I think we are pretty much heading towards the finals, aren't we? I don't think I did too well, though. we go that's a lot I just like how they give off so much 
Like, I'll totally do this. I think we can at least get 1300 in speed here, right? No, maybe not. Um, what did Darren Endless say? Was it Darren Endless? Yeah, it was, right? The middle ones. Okay. I mean, we're pretty much at the end, right? Well, I guess I don't think it would matter on what I choose. the final race not yet right i think the next one is the final race if not then it's probably this one yeah there's one more we'll just do that i think the highest i got with top road over the weekend also was a UG seven, I think. I'm not too sure. I think it was though. Here we are. Yeah, over the weekend, I was surprised there was a third Uma. I was like, oh, so that's what happens when you win. Uh, but I don't know if I'll be able to win this race. Yeah, I usually lose to her. Which is kind of sad. <laughs> What's her name? Rigantona? Rigatona? And that is pretty much the end of the training center. Fairly fast. These training runs are pretty much just like at least half an hour at this point. At least. At minimum. You can go a little bit longer depending on your pacing. But... Yeah, it's quite surprising to see how fast it can be. Uh, actually, what is... This isn't the one I'm going to use, but... Also, the other thing I'm kind of worried about is... Skills, I would say, I guess. Sometimes I would get... Well, because my setup also doesn't fully support betweeners. It's pretty much just there more for, I guess, convenience. Oh, wow. We don't even have that many skill points. Uh, let's get rid of that one. It's more for convenience because I don't have much between your support. <laughs> but we ended off with 1277 speed, still not 1300. Level 7 stamina, 1060 on power, 775 on... Guts and 948 on Wise. No S's. All right. Got these. So I saw the Satono Diamond from before. It was a UG7. I thought it was a UG8 or UG9. This one is just a UG1. Understandable, honestly. Whoa, only three factors? All right. The reason why. Oh, it's just, it's just, it is what it is. But yeah, I mean, all I can really say is, kind of got the flow of things. I just don't have a certain, you know, pattern or what to do, I guess. I don't know if there is a certain pattern, unless it's just like <laughs> Grandmasters where it's just RNG. I mean, it's pretty much just RNG training. I said this since the beginning is basically RNG, so maybe things just didn't go my way this time around. But I will be still be training off camera just to, you know, try to get better at this. Maybe I'll randomly get a good training, but we'll see what happens next time around. So tomorrow will probably be Taishin or Kitasan. It doesn't really matter. I just realized that the growth rates. Let me check the growth rate for the Satono Diamond. I believe it's uh speed and speed and uh stamina. Yes, it is. So speed and stamina for her, speed and stamina for Kita, and also 
top road. It's kind of crazy. So they all pretty much will be using the same setup, just probably some tweaks based on the sp speed card or anything. So I might end up... No, because then there will be escape leader in between her. And then Taichin being the chaser. So we'll see what happens over the a week. Maybe we'll get better results. Hopefully we do. But tomorrow will either be Taishin or Ida. So with that being said, guys, that is going to be the end of this video. If you guys didn't make it this far, I do want to say thank you. You guys can hit the like button and also leave a comment down below on how you guys are doing with the new training scenario. And uh, give me some time to really, really, I guess, get used to this. Because I may say I'm used to it, but it's not like I'm doing the best. It's more like I found a neutral point to where I'm not confused anymore, which only took me about two extra runs where I'm like, ah, I should probably do this, do that. It's just a matter of trying to get my stats to a little bit higher than I want it to be, you know? So hopefully that all goes well. But with that being said, guys, thank you once again. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Can you, uh... Don't